I was a judge for the Buckminster Fuller Challenge Award, which is one of the world's most valuable sustainable design prizes run by the Buckminster Fuller Institute, which exists to sort of propagate the teachings of Richard Buckminster Fuller, the wonderful maverick American designer and design activist who achieved so much in sustainable social and humanitarian design in the early 20th century. And this was one of the projects that was shortlisted for the prize. It didn't actually win but being on the jury enabled me to find out a great deal about it so I contacted Sanger Moses and I've been in contact with him fairly regularly over the years since then to follow the evolution of EcoFuel Africa. Well EcoFuel Africa is for me one of the most inspiring social design projects. Unfortunately there's been a litany of very well-intentioned but sometimes poorly conceived and badly executed social design projects in developing economies particularly in Africa that have been the work of, of well-intentioned Western designers that haven't necessarily worked well. So it's hugely inspiring to find an example of a project that's been conceived and executed um, by people within the communities who are going to use it. So he developed a project called EcoFuel Africa, which in essence encourages farmers in southern Uganda to turn agricultural waste, um, they carbonize it in, into organic charcoal and they use that both to fertilize their fields, so this improves the yield of their crops, but also to turn into briquettes of clean, cheap, organic cooking fuel that's then sold to people locally. Um, so it not only improves the efficiency of the farms, it gives the farmers an additional source of income by selling the briquettes of cooking fuel. The people who convert the briquettes into fuel also um, gain an income from doing so, as do the people, typically women, who sell the briquettes from kiosks set up by EcoFuel Africa. For many of these women, these are the first jobs that they've had. It's their first opportunity to contribute financially to their family's well-being. And finally, um, lots of kids, typically young boys, are employed to deliver the fuel on bicycles. So it's a brilliant example of a very, very pragmatic design project that turns something that was thrown away or considered useless, agricultural waste, into something that's very valuable. But it has very broad Implications. Dirty cooking fuel, which a lot of people are forced to use, is responsible for 1.5 million deaths worldwide every year, the majority of them in Africa. That's obviously a horrifying statistic. So by making cheap, clean cooking fuel available, that obviously potentially reduces those deaths in future. It also has significant environmental benefits for a continent like Africa, where deforestation is a massive problem, which then endangers biodiversity and the future prospects of endangered species. So what sounds like a tiny, rather modest social design project, making cheap, clean cooking fuel available in rural areas of southern Uganda, actually is something that has quite extraordinary consequences.